Pepe about his artist, no cap, and even went on to confront him in front of thousands on Instagram. But before I show you that, let me explain how all this started, because no cap is a popular rapper who was born and raised in Mobile, Alabama, that began rapping at the age of nine years old after receiving inspiration from his mother's boyfriend. And at the time, no cap would perform locally with his mother's boyfriend. However, as the relationship between his mother and her boyfriend ended, no cap will put his music career on pause until his teenage years. And he started taking rap seriously back in 2017, with the release of his first EP known as Believe It in May of 2017. Then in early 2018, he released the song Legend, which blew up on YouTube, gaining over 15 million views, which gave him a buzz he needed. And no cap kept progressing, dropping a collaborative mixtape known as Rogerville in 2018 with Rallo Rodriguez, another well-known rapper from Mobile, Alabama, that no cap has a close relationship with. Then not too long after releasing Rogerville and quickly rising in fame, Lil Baby hit no cap up to work on some music together. And later that year, he would be featured on the song Dreams to Reality on Lil Baby's Street Gossip mixtape. And in 2019, No Cap would go on to work with many more artists, such as Polo G, OMB Peasy, Quando Rondo, and many more. And at the time, he was almost cool with everyone in the industry. But in the fall of 2019, No Cap ran into a few legal troubles because he turned himself in and was later charged with firing a gun in the occupied building in possession of a controlled substance. Then in November 2019, No Cap was released from prison and dropped his mixtape, The Hood Dictionary, which featured appearances from Lil Durk, Quando Rondo, and Jagged Edge. It even peaked at number 80 on the Billboard 200. And after finally being in and out of jail, No Cap started kicking it with Youngboy and his crew, as well as Lil Baby and a lot of 4PF members. And this didn't seem like that big of a problem at first. However, once size started to be claimed, that's when things turned into a problem. Because after Lil Baby blew up more, he claimed that he signed Rallo and No Cap in an interview with The Breakfast Club. I got two artists that I'm that I signed like two of my artists two damn you were not artists. playing and a little dude named Rollo mm -hmm. and another one named No Cap they actually hard but it wasn't official since Lil Baby didn't actually have a record label that he could legally sign anyone to at the time. So it was more of a verbal agreement and he figured they'd stay loyal to him since he was blowing up and wanted to help both Rallo and No Cap at the time. Because in another interview, Lil Baby explained how he didn't even know how to legally sign someone to a record label. <laughs> I don't even know how that goes. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like far as like giving you my money or investing my money, you like I'm telling you straight up I don't know. I'm like bro, I don't even know how to. Right. You feel Nigga just like you run with me like you my artist. I'ma you figure it out. Like, yeah. But I'ma figure it out. All right. But when No Cap was asked about being signed to Lil Baby in other interviews, he specifically said he wasn't signed to him at all. Well, I guess at one point Lil Baby signed you or or no? Nah, I, I ain't I didn't sign a Lil Baby. I'm still okay, so. yeah. Yeah, I'm still an independent artist right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you are not you're not Cause, Cause, there, there was something, something about you being Lil Baby's artist, but that's not true. A lot of people, like he was just rocking with me. And at the time of this interview, No Cap was already signed to NBA YoungBoy Never Broke Again record label. It just wasn't public that he was signed to YoungBoy's label. But not long after, Lil Baby found out he felt some type of way since he promoted No Cap on social media and even helped him out by putting him on his street gossip mixtape. It's also rumored that Lil Baby allegedly gave No Cap some money since he wanted him on his label. And Baby was expecting No Cap to be patient until we got the 4PF label up and running the right way, just like Rallo did. But instead of holding it down like Rallo, No Cap went on to sign with Youngboy, and from here on out, Lil Baby or Rallo was nowhere to be found on No Cap's tracks. And not long after this situation, No Cap started beefing with Lil Baby on social media, because after a picture of Lil Baby's family tree with No Cap on one of the branches surfaced on the internet, it agitated No Cap, and he reposted the picture on his story and said, ain't no tree, with a huge X over the post. And No Cap and a few other 4PF members were going back and forth with each other on Instagram. And No Cap even went as far as saying, Lil Baby's dead homies, except for Marlo. The young boy hopped in his comments saying, all of them too, agreeing with No Cap. So it was really 4K Trey versus 4PF since Youngboy and his people were standing behind No Cap in this beef. And a day after this beef went down, some of No Cap goons and mobile even made the DJ turn Lil Baby's music off in the club. Hey man, we in the club, they don't play no baby, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. When C Team pull up, when C Team pull up, man, I don't know baby get played, man. Up, we don't hear that around here, we don't hear that. Hey man, in our city, man, when they play that baby, we cut that shit off, man. Oh. And this has Rallo's close friends beefing with No Cap close friends. No Cap even went to drop a song dissing how he isn't changing up on Rallo, but they're going to have to cut it loose since Lil Baby isn't going to drop Rallo's music if he's hanging around No Cap. And the situation between the two eventually died down, and everyone was doing their own thing. That was until late 2020, when NBA Youngboy started to have problems with King Von, because clips started surfacing on the internet of King Von dissing Youngboy on Instagram Live. Why be a straight 
When I catch him, is that. And Vine was even spotted leaving a building with Janiyah a few months before he passed away. After being by Quando Rondo's associate Lil Tim after getting into a fight with Quando Rondo outside of an Atlanta nightclub. And since Quando was signed to Never Broke Again, Youngboy picked Quando Rondo's side in this beef. And Youngboy came out of nowhere at the start of 2022 with the single Bring the Hook, where he says, O Block Pack, get rolled up. Murder what they told us. Atlanta boy, get fold up. And after dissing Vine, he dissed Lil Dirk off. And he replied to Youngboy, telling him, don't speak on Vine if he didn't do it. And Youngboy instantly responded with another diss titled, You Know Like I Know, where he says, I I don't give a my just like your friend you'll bite the dust and the two went on back and forth dropping disses toward each other which led Lil Durk to drop aha and young boy to drop i hate young boy where he dissed the whole entire industry including Lil baby and throughout this beef quando was standing behind young boy but the whole time no cap was silent and didn't say anything since this beef didn't have much to do with them and more recently a fan asked no cap on twitter why he and young boy haven't been making music together and no cap responded saying how he wants to do things alone first since he doesn't want people people saying he used Youngboy to get big. And this made Youngboy look at No Cap a certain way, since it seemed like he's been moving funny lately. And DJ Academics even spoke about it in a recent interview with No Cap. I usually see when if is Stop scrolling. Start playing. Fair play because you know Pintanel. Ain't all moving together. All right. They usually fall apart. Because, you know, sometimes what happens is when you're not around the team, right? He's getting your ear. And after Young Boy saw what No Cap said, he made a post on his label's Instagram account saying how he's been paying attention to all the slick that No Cap has been doing and went on to call No Cap all types of names. Then he said he isn't making music with No Cap since he doesn't mess with them. So No Cap needs to stop speaking on him. Also went on calling No Cap a worker. And not long after, Young Boy made the post. No Cap responded with the post on his story saying, I never did nothing bad to you. I screamed free you before and after every venue. I carried this when you was gone. I stopped messing with people who would have done whatever to see me win to stay loyal to you. And he continued saying how he took the blame for why they don't make music to keep young boy's hater card clean and said the real reason they don't do music is because YB is probably scared that he'll be bigger than him the same way Lil Baby was. No Cap also said young boy wanted him to pay him for a feature and how young boy only posted his music one time while being signed to his label for three years. And things heated up even more because young boy made more story posts saying how it isn't about music and that No Cap is just scary and how No Cap is trying to play industry chess but he doesn't know that it's not loyalty in the rap game. He also said he never made any money off no Cap and that the only reason No Cap ran with them was because he was popping. But the moment things went wrong, No Cap didn't even want to take a picture with Quando Rondo when all the beef was going on. And it didn't stop there because Young Boy made another post. Young Boy also said the only reason No Cap signed was because of Quando Rondo and how No Cap isn't worth anything without Quando Rondo. And there was a lot of wild things said in these posts. And No Cap responded to Young Boy's rent saying how his car alone cost $300,000 and how Young Boy needs to get his friend a lawyer. And just when people thought it was was over, young boy came back saying no cap's priorities are messed up and he brought a car but can't pay his tax bill. And from the outside looking in, it seems like young boy has a lot of built animosity with no cap since from the post, it seems like he's mainly mad that no cap didn't stick with him and all the beef he had with Lil Dirk and the industry. And this isn't NBA young boy's first time falling out with a close friend. So click this video to see times NBA young boy humiliated rappers.